man. I thought I was like, all right, I'm prepared to make this video. I'm, I'm like, I'm stable, I'm good. <laughs> the moment I press record, I start crying. All right. Hello. It's been a few months since I've been here. Hopefully, this is not coming. <laughs> this is not shocking news for you. My partner, Michael, passed away on Oof. on August 9th so it's been about two I think two and a half months now I took down the previous video that I made um, talking about why had I had already been fairly absent on social media in general. I was dealing with some of the repercussions of having a partner who is an addict. Michael died of an overdose, a fentanyl overdose. I don't know what the fuck I really don't know I I knew I had to address this before coming back on and you know trying to make content so I wrote down these things that I kind of like wanted to say but in the end it's what am I supposed to say he was oh, such a beautiful person. I loved him a lot. I wanted to have a life with him and His memorial was so beautiful. Over like 300 people came. He was so loved. And after his passing, like, I feel like I was talking about this with his parents. We found out that he was like such a support system for other people in, in the sober community. He helped so many people. He saved multiple people's lives, like in real life, like giving someone CPR until paramedics came. Taking someone to their first meeting, driving someone to rehab, and he tried over and over again to be sober. Then I don't think I realized until, until after how, how hard it is to just not give in, to constantly just try again, try again. He was always trying to get sober. He never, he hated drugs. It's still so mind boggling to think to, to think that I'm never going to see him in person again. Like within the last year, I had to really uh, break things off with him or separate myself from him. Not because I didn't still love him so much, but it wasn't good or healthy for me to continue in that cycle. And he needed to get sober for himself and just concentrate on his sobriety. And I know it was so hard and I know he really tried. <sighs> the last time I saw him in person, it was, it was, 
he wanted to make amends. I'm very grateful for that. He came over here and we cried, we cried together, shared time together. I was able to hug him and tell him that I loved him. I'm really grateful that that was the last time I saw him. And I guess in terms of uh, I, how I've been doing, I would say not great. <laughs> um, you know, I can't speak on anyone else's grief or experience with grief, but this has just been... It's been, I can't even describe it, just pain. <laughs> Honestly, the last couple weeks I've been a lot better. Um, a lot, a lot better. It was, it was strange, like, I hit the two-month mark and that day was fucking terrible the whole weekend was so bad I just was like I just could not get that I just couldn't stop crying uh, but then after that it was almost just like okay it was like my body just gave a big exhale and I think that's what made me like mentally able to make this video even though I'm a mess but Trust me, I should. I would not have been able to do this before, uh, you know, a few weeks ago. But yeah, those first couple of months, it is just like this. I felt like this feeling in my chest, my throat, all day, every day, from the moment I woke up to, and I just couldn't sleep. It was weird. You would think that I'd be like sleeping all the time, but I like wasn't getting good sleep. Yeah, this feeling just welling up in my body constantly, like constantly feeling on the edge of tears. <laughs> like any moment I could burst out in tears. And I know there is no timeline for grief. I feel like after the two month mark, it was almost like, Michael was constantly in my mind 24-7 before. And now he's there, but it's not as much. And I almost feel uh, I almost feel horrible because of that. Because he's God and I'm still here. And I, I don't know. So yeah, the last few months, obviously I haven't been working. And I haven't had any structure, I feel like. And I really want to get back to working. As in like, honestly, making vlogs... It brings structure to my life where I'm planning to film things. I have deadlines. My savings have like, my savings have run out. So yeah, I need to get back into it. But it's not just because of that. It is um, also because I, I just need that structure in my life. And I need to, I need to bring more no normalcy into my life. I need a reason to like shower and feel good. I know Michael would want me to, I know he would want me to move forward. I 
with Joe. Honestly, again, if it wasn't for Josie. Come here. Oh! <laughs> I know. Stop. Okay. Josie, you're in a crazy mood. Whoa. <laughs> if it wasn't for this little thing. Okay, calm down. Hey. She's like, hasn't she hasn't seen mom talk to herself in a while, so she's like, what's going on here? <laughs> she's been my little couch potato buddy. <laughs> we have like a little system on the couch now where I'm like, <laughs> where are you sleeping? I literally hold her while I sleep and she just stays there all night. She loves it. And I'm so grateful for her. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely things I need to work on still though, like not sleeping on the couch. Like I, I would say within the last couple of months, I've only slept in my bed like a handful of times. It's kind of just difficult. Michael's parents and so many of his friends They told me how they just really had never seen him happier. They said they had never, you know, seen him so in love. And where I'm going with this is that I'm grateful that I, I could have, that I gave him that love, that he could really experience that love, and that I was, I that I got to experience that kind of love from him. I don't even know how to end this. It feels like I need to just keep talking about him. There's so much more to say, but... I know that he... I know that Michael is at peace now. And he's not in pain anymore and that <clears throat> that brings me peace and I really hold on to that but yeah hug your loved ones tonight <laughs> yeah it's important so all right everyone that's it. I'll see you in the next one.